Kenyans on keyboard <laughs> I've gone through a lot eh? but I want today to talk about only two instances there are hundreds of instances of the similar one but uh, let me just talk about two which, are, which, are, which, which has got to do with Gene C I want to talk about everything about those two although there are several hundred cases out there which I, I think will be adequately be covered in the discussion of today. In the last two months, I have talked about two people. I have talked about uh, the first one. I talked about uh, Samuel. Uh, I talked about Samuel and said that Samuel is not Tomboya and will never be Tomboya. I have screen saved uh, the two Nini and you can check the last two months there is uh, I think Samuel is the one which starts and then one month ago uh, Morara was being interviewed by by JKL and I said that Morara has said a lot of truth. I said that uh, he had talked about 999 truths, but uh, I said there is one lie that is cheating. And, and just like milk, a spoonful of uh, lime would spoil 100 liters of milk. Hey, nilishambuliwa. Hey, 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 hey. Nilishambuliwa. We mze upendi vijana, we mze unanza kuona. Uh, is that that is why Moi sucked you? Mzs, you nini nini? I was told a lot of things, all bad ones. But then, here we are. Eight weeks later, we can see what happened. Now, how did I come into this? Uh, how did I come into this conclusion? One. I am an NIS person and we have we have NIS and we have uh, DCI we operate differently we operate differently NIS operate differently from DCI and I want to say it briefly the difference between NIS and uh, DCI NIS, there are people who study character. We just study character, write reports and place them in the files. But now since I'm no longer working with the intelligence, this YouTube channel is my file. I just <laughs> write an IR, intelligence report, and file it. So that when the time comes, I look at it. I am not God. I'm not always right. There are occasions when I'm even proven to be wrong. So, in those occasions, I accept that I am wrong. I accept that what I've made is wrong. But in many occasions, I do, I do the, what we call a professional estimating. I do the a professional estimating where I come to, to that. But since we are all human beings, even when we do things with the best uh, machines or whatever computer we have, occasionally we are wrong. So that is what happens. Then there is also an intelligence officer. If you ask me, an intelligence officer is more of a journalist than a DCIO, a DCI person. Because a DCI figuratively does nothing. A DCI, uh, he, he or she only investigates a crime. So long as a crime has been committed and a complaint has been made, someone can steal your money and you don't report to the police. So according to DCI, no crime has been committed. And according to DCI, when you complain and then you settle out of court, that is the end of the DCI. They, they, in fact, they only retain documentation to show that 
so that in the future you don't say that uh, you are whatever, whatever. If you say that you had complained to DCI and nothing was done, the DCI will always produce uh, the letter that you said that you no longer want to pursue the case. So if it is on, they only retain that as a future reference to show that they were not compromised. But in intelligence, first of all, most of our work is not known. And even when the case has ended, we just record that and what, and we make references there. So there was, the way I was looking at them, I looked at them from an NISI. I looked for with them with the eye of an NSI, NIS. Another thing is I looked at them using, uh, what do you call, uh, sixth sense, sixth sense. In Kiganjo, we were taught something that we were being told in it. It is called, uh, is it Akilia Police? Yeah, Akilia Police. Akilia Police is, you just sense that, uh, although nowadays human right things are there, but you find that Akilia Police, you get a, a sense that this person has committed a crime and place that person in the cells, and then the person would uh, admit that. So there is also, the sixth sense where you just feel things don't add up. So in a mixture of the two, I felt that these are people who are taking advantage. Yes, we have had a lot of people. We have had a lot of people who were there before. And a lot of, and actually, if you go to, to the Gen C, there are so many leaders. But look at the three. Uh, there is this Rasta, this Rasta, I think is a Kalenji, who before cameras just told uh, Babu Owino that Babu Owino should give them half a million shillings. So these are, these are things that uh, some people go there to make money. Others go there not to make money, but you find that you are somewhere, you are in a position that uh, people now believe that you are one of the GNC leaders. So then, uh, you see, one of the commandments we are told, do not lead us into temptation. So, being the public eye, being, being in the public knowledge and whatever, and being surrounded, imagine right now, if you are to meet a prominent person, name it. Ruto, eh, Gashagua, Raila, anything. Just from where you are, can you meet them? But then there is a, a, a eh? Ma, vitu, eh? vituko, vituko. And then you are the re leading person. Then you find that every time something has happened in your neighborhood, these people are visiting there and they are the one who is. You are, the temptations can be so high to tell the person, uh, so occasionally you don't want to, there are so many occasions that you don't want to be corrupt, but the corruption do that. There, are, there is a lesson we learned in the CID training school where we were taught that uh, how bobby traps are made. Somebody, you know, every bar, every, no, every lodging, there is a Bible there. Every lodging, there is a Bible. And then those days, the, 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 the largest denomination of money was 200 shillings. Nowadays, it is 1,000. Now, you go, to, you go to sleep in a lodging. When you want to leave, you see a Bible there with one or two thousands there. And you look left and right. Very few people would call there the lodging attendant and say, I have found uh, 2,000 shillings in the Bible. Many of them will not. And what do they do? You look left and right. You try to look for any evidence. And you'll decide that let me take this money and place it in my socks. So that after Nikitoka, you can trap when you check, they'll check my pockets and find I have no money. What you don't know is that that Bible has already been placed a, a, a bomb there, 
a bomb has been placed there, batteries have been placed there, so that when you remove the money, wires is in a shikana, it is those 2,000 shillings that are blocking the current of the, of the bomb, from the battery to the bomb. So once you remove that, uh, the wires get caught in each other and you are blown. Those are the things. You can even remember recently, uh, Israel, uh, the pager issue. So that is how Kenyans are. We are not thieves by nature, but when pesa itukizikuta ziko hapo hapo, we look left and right and take it. So that is how it is. And that is how you'll find that when there is something like Gen C, yes, you'll be leading in the, in the forefront. But then you'll find that you are now interacting with very senior people, very influential people, and uh, you are interacting with very senior people, very influential people. Now you'll use that opportunity to try and make money out of that. So I can say that in both cases, the, the case of Kasamuel and the case of Morara, at the time of me doubting them, I did so. Uh, I could say that uh, over 60%, 65%, was through the sixth sense, but then 35% was through my uh, knowledge and experience. Now let us go to Kasamuel. He was smartly dressed. He's a Luo, I think. And uh, he, he talks, viva, whatever. And the way he talks reminded one of Tom Boyer. But I said, and, and if, you can, if you can check, that is why I've, I've placed there a screenshot of, uh, of that video. I said clearly that you are not a Tom Boyer and you'll never be a Tom Boyer. Now you can see he has uh, gone to see politicians and he has yet ever. And uh, uh, I don't think he left Kinaosoro with nothing. He must have had something in the pocket. Because you just target the leader Ken, uh, during Jom, uh, no, not Jomo Kenyatta, during the, the problems that uh, Njoya had, Njoya and Njonjo and Moi. Njoya had said in the, Njoya had said that uh, when the lead uh, ship goes astray all other ships uh, go astray or i can amend uh, that and say a train if the engine goes off derails all other compartments will derail so the best way if you want to derail it go for the engine derail that one and the others will be derailed so that is how it happens and you can see that i was vilified in the issue of Samuel. now the case of morara uh, you can still go back and see because I've screen saved the, the, the two pictures. You'll find that uh, uh, one thing I've always had a problem with uh, KJKL, and and a lot of people abused me. There is even one who went and said, "At I'm I'm talking against uh, Jeff Koinange, and then I'm placing there uh, a pay bill. I'm begging. I'm a, like a beggar." And I can say, I said then and I said now, it is good to be a beggar and it is good that I'm begging because I've never seen a beggar. Uh, there are very few of them, one in a thousand, could be having a knife and when you pass, but uh, in most cases, what is bad in begging? You, uh, the, uh, it was the evening, you are given a few coins, you go to the shop, buy hunger, buy mboga, eat. But the Koinange family stole from Kenya. They, so many uh, Kenyans were chased from their lands. So many, whatever. Koinange family committed uh, wrongs to people. And I'm not even talking of assassination. They wronged people, ordinary people, more than what... Let me not even talk of the Hwatenge family. Let me not talk of even my clan. I can tell you that... Um, the Koinange family, they wronged Kenyans 
more than what my sub-tribe did, have ever done to, uh, jointly, sub-tribe, yeah. So you find that uh, I was being told, oh, you are... But then I have seen, uh, what do you call, I've seen uh, Jeff Koinange, the way he interviews people. I've seen the way, whatever. And Hussein Mohammed was very right. You see, there are some things which you don't allow just on air. Just don't allow on air when things are... Uh, and that is why you find that, uh, have you seen that uh, when some people, some, uh, what do you call, some media houses... When they talk about something, they usually say that uh, by the time of going to the press, we had contacted them and they had not answered. Or we had contacted them, this what was. So here is the situation where this person talks. And, and he says, and I said in my video, you know, leave alone the issue of, uh, leave alone the issue of uh, Gen Z now talking of everybody's uh, number. Uh, the agency the were talking of everybody's number. Uh, they, 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 they said the people should greet so and so, and then they gave out the number. So, Morara was saying that this, this is uh, Ruto's number. You, you want me to send five shillings? And, what, and it was so very easy. It is very easy for, what do you call, uh, royal media services. They would just have gone to Safaricom, to find because this man was claiming that Ruto called him, so the best way was for them to go to to Safaricom and verify if Ruto, because he has a number, and and, and Safaricom would have just said there is a time uh, Ruto called Kebas. But we have Kenyans, and that is the problem we have. We have Kenyans who, whatever they talk, they are just anti-establishment. Five, year, five years ago, they were sympathetic to Ruto because he was being uh, punished by Uhuru. And then from there, they became sympathetic to Raila because uh, Raila was anti-government. Now, they are sympathetic to uh, Gashagwa, not because Gashagwa is good or whatever, whatever. No, it is because... Uh, Gashagwa is anti-government. And these people are the people I call middle, middle level. I'll come to that, but uh, that is what I'm saying. Now we have seen, and I said, I said in my video that uh, I, I advised uh, him to, to follow. There is, uh, I think, three or, or four, I don't think they have reached five, who imitate Ruto. And I told him, you, why don't you just imitate Ruto and then uh, you'll go on and people say, no, 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 why are you choosing things for him? People can choose things for you. Let me tell you, when I started this YouTube channel, I spent a lot of time in translating Lingala into English. I saw that uh, most of people like rumba music. And I said that if, if I want to translate any song, there, there is about uh, 30 or 40 people who have translated that very song. So I went and started translating the Bible. I'd go, look at the Lord's Prayer, translate it into English, then into Lingala. I would go and translate even the Catholic, uh, Salamu Maria. Umeja losa komaria otondi grasha mokonzi azali na yo abemisi yo lokumu ya basi mosantu Maria pesela biso. I translated that and you can see I've even crammed it overhead. But what were the views? I can tell you that today, uh, after after uploading this, twelve hours from now, this one has we will have. Imagine. It is five times more. It is five times more than uh, Losako Maria Otandi Gracia. But you'll find that the views that within two days that people will watch this one is more than uh, Salamu Maria in Lingala, which I recorded a year ago. So people told me, Wachana na Mambo Yadini, although. My Christian faith tells me that I have to go back and be translating once in a week or something like that, once in a month for my religious thing. But then 
they felt that I should rec be recording things such as this. So the, yes, there is a time your heart can send you left, but the people sent you right. So that is why I was telling um, Morara that uh, him uh, dressed like Ruto and behaving like Ruto, that is okay. And many of those who are recording uh, dressed like Ruto are repeating on what Ruto may have said. But him, Kebaso was, Morara Kebaso, was, his was different. He was a satire like the others, but mocking uh, Ruto. He was mocking Ruto to an extent that you would say, to Metenga Majotea, like, okay, he didn't say that, but I'm only giving an example. To Metenga uh, Ziwa, Ziwa Victoria, yote, sasa yu maji tuapeleka lodwa, paka marsa bit, watu wakunyo na walime na he, he was doing that, but you, you see that one is even accepted. And then we had others, we have others who, yes, imitate Ruto, but then they imitate Ruto in giving him a positive picture. I told him to do that. People said, who are you to choose that person? I've just told you how you people told me to leave alone uh, the translation in Lingala and concentrate on this security-related issue, historical-related issues. There's a, an, an, an English word which says, saying that uh, the, the, he who pays the piper eh, dictates the tune. People told me, and, uh, and I changed. So I told him to do that, I didn't. And then uh, uh, I, I also talked and said, uh, my study, my study of uh, Jeff Koinang is that, uh, uh, if Jeff Koinang, especially the days he was in primary and secondary, he is the type of a person whom when he was in primary or secondary, he's the person who used to uh, incite people because you could see the way he was laughing, the way he was, and I even, even mentioned of how uh, Francis Atwoli, who represents workers who are getting less than 10,000, took out a phone that was rather, more than a salary of many of the people and threw it on the wall. And that is what uh, Jeff Koinange likes. And, and even Jeff Koinange, you remember Pasaris and uh, Miguna Miguna, Miguna Pasaris was removing some papers, uh, trying to nini. Miguna Miguna took those papers, tore them up. Miguna Miguna was uh, taken out of the country. And he was taken out of the country. Jeff Koinange took a lot of money and boarded a plane and went to interview uh, Miguna Miguna out of that. So, uh, kuna wale watu munaka kwa plot, such that when you stay in the plot, you find that uh, kuna mtua, you are always quarreling with a neighbor, but there is a third neighbor who will never talk anything, whatever. But then when you go and ask the two neighbors why they are always quarreling, so uliambia fulani, hivi na hivi, apana wendu ulimambia, there is this person anagonga huku na huku, and that is how Jeff Koinange is. Lastly, as I finish off what I'm saying, uh, I don't think Samuel has come out with a lot of money. No, I don't think. But uh, Kebaso has come out with a lot of money. Kebaso Morara, uh, he set out a pay bill. When he set out a pay bill, uh, he bought a vehicle. He did whatever. And then uh, he has a good uh, whatever whatever you gave. Na akafika tu pahali, akasema, anybody who wants his money, aseme. At, eh? But you see, how can you? You know, a lot of Kenyans, I've seen it from my, my pay bill, uh, a lot of people send 100 or even 200. Now, it, it depends on the number of people you reach out. Now, if I, if I get uh, five people per day, that is uh, up to 1,000 shillings, yeah. Uh, because... On the lower side is 500 or on the upper is because people wanna people send 100 or even 200 those are five people but you see a person like morara has a bigger outreach has a bigger outreach in two ways one the people who went to his pay bill are 
several hundred times more than those who go to my pay bill. And then whatever was being sent to his pay bill, is that? me, I'm talking of somebody sending 200. Maybe he was even getting a thousand. Now let us say in one week, a thousand people sent him a thousand shillings. That is a cool M. That is a cool M. So that is why I came to that conclusion. I looked at them. And eight weeks down the line, I've been vilified. It's unfortunate. Uh, it hurts me that it's unfortunate and hurts me that uh, I tell Kenyans things, they doubt me or anything. And later it, the truth comes when a lot of people uh, do that. We have a lot of, we have an industry where we make a lot of, and Kenyans have a very poor, Kenyans have a very poor memory. So long as you are anti-government, whatever you say is, and, and even anybody pinpoints that, he or she is abused and taken out of town. There are even occasions when I get annoyed, but uh, that is what they want. We have some people who don't even gain anything or whatever. There are those people who just troll you on the internet and they want to get you off. So <laughs> I got used to that and uh, I think, I'd, but it is always good to let people say that because I mean, to talk what they want to say. Nobody has forced you into my YouTube. So why should you come to my YouTube and, and talk things which are unfair? Why should you come to my YouTube and say, Hata ndiyo mana ulifutu, mana ulifanya na mnagai? Days, weeks, months, or even when I'm dead, uh, you'll find that most of the things I've said, I've uh, talked to the truth, and uh, so far so good. Uh, the only thing is that um, when politicians disagree, please ignore them. Ignore them. They know each other. And you see, look at Raila. He's anatetea sasa Adani. Anatetea Adani because he's on the government side. Eh? There is a time when Raila uh, was on good terms with Uhuru and Unga was 250. Uh, there was even a time when you talked of kubweka bweka. People are being told kubweka bweka. But when Ruto came and they were not on good terms, he started complaining that Unga was very expensive when Unga was 150. When it was 250, he, he said people wanna bweka bweka. Now you can see a Danny deal. And let me tell you about a Danny deal. A Danny deal is a done deal. Just forget it and move on. Because uh, the government, those in the government are the custodians of all documentation. Maybe we have somebody, maybe we have somebody, Ahwatenge uh, today, and 20 years down the line, for those of you who will still be alive, you will be, he, he will come out and tell you what is being done. Let me tell you one thing. You see a done deal, recently, we have been having blackout. Blackout, 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 blackout. And then, when people complain, <laughs> you see, minister for, what do you call it? Steam Michael Kwa Ministry Guard. The minister comes out and says, you see there was a trip, the lawyer, the, 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 the Trukana windmill tripped at, 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 at Suswa and Sijui Nini. Now you are telling a barber shop. You see, a barber shop pays that uh, Kinyosi for 30 days. He has spent the whole day where he's supposed to save something to pay the rent for that Kinyosi. Where he's supposed to, he's supposed to pay rent for that Kinyosi for that day. He's supposed to get something to go and buy Unga Namboga. He didn't get it. Just tell him, oh, you see, <laughs> the Turkana wind, ile, ile steam ilikuwa inatoka Turkana, ilikuja, inaingilia suswa, suswa uko narok, eh? ika trip. So when he did trip, that is what, and it happens that several days. And then later you are told that Adani has done those things in various countries, various countries. He who could trip was placed there, that trippy. That tripping was placed there so as to prepare the country. Now, Adani, keep your cars. I'm not trying to say that Adani 
uh, Adani are unable to me I'm, first of all they are able uh, but I'm trying to say is that mlikuwa uh, mnazimishiwa stima uh, unasikia kwamba there is a national blackout so that you are prepared Adani kikuja after all mtu kama mimi I don't know about you mtu kama mimi sasa nikaanza kuona stima sasa siku hizi hakuna blackout sana sasa Adani ilikuwa mzuri better than what they did not knowing that hizo blackout ziliekwa in the first place so that adani kikuja and then let me tell you one thing there is a luhia proverb that says ukifuata ile kuku inakula you not kula kuku if you follow what the government is doing akiota kwa mwendo azimu or you live and jump over chania falls why am i saying so I'm saying it like this. And I just want to give one example of Chris Mru. Eh? What was the name of that minister who was in the office of the president? Chris what? Before when Moi was the president, Murungaru. He was an MP from Nyeri and then he was the minister of state in the office of the president during Kibaki's time. Now this is what he did. He's a doctor. Uh, he he's a doctor of uh, he's a veterinary doctor or something like that. Or a pharmacist, yeah, he's a pharmacist. This is what he did this um, Chris Ndadi. Is Chris Ndadi um, you I'll remember and put it in the comment section. He went and asked somebody how much is a land rover he was told the price i can't recall the price then he asked how much is a land cruiser he was told the price of the land cruiser it happened that a brand new land rover cost the same price as two land cruisers so he said from today henceforth all land rover all all land rovers we will stop buying land land rovers from today we will start buying land cruisers from today henceforth and those were the days of 10% meaning in the office of the president there is the whole police service there is all provincial administration including the ap before they went to the national police service in the, in the in the office of the president we have the immigration we have whatever now all those departments who are going to toyota east africa to buy land cruisers now how many how many land land cruisers land cruisers were bought that time let's say a thousand shillings isn't it and it was 10%. So he was given money equivalent to 10%. He was given money equivalent to 10% of what was sold. And what did he do? He aliachana na siasa. He has a, a very good um, animal husbandry in his home area, the best in East and Central Africa. <laughs> my mother's tribe mates they are very clever you see mkikuyu i can run your business uh if you give a luhia to run a business that is my father's tribe luhia eh? takwana kufikishia to say 20000 per day 20000 na haja hii bata ndururu but mkikuyu will run that business atakwana kuletea 30000 Nayana kula 20,000. But you see, in the 30,000 una mgawia, siyo? So my people, my mother's people, hey, wanajua kuona business tree. Kwa hayo mengi, asante.